Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Woods North and welcome back to the farm here in Charlotte that I have filmed many videos at. My apologies if this audio comes out terrible right now. It is really warm and it is really windy right now. But happy November. It is the first Tuesday of November here. It's November 5th. I just voted down to the town hall, which is uh, about a mile that way. And I figured I had an hour and a half to kill before I had to go into work. So you know what? why not celebrate the only way that Woods North knows how? And that is by going squirrel hunting. I am down here again with the same shells I was shooting last year. I had these Remington Express XLR, so those are extra long range. It's a short casing, but it's a high brass round. So they leave the tube pretty quickly and they're perfect for squirrels. This gun, I don't think I've ever actually featured on the channel before. This is probably the cheapest shotgun that I own. I actually inherited this. This is a Mossberg, or sorry, it's a Maverick 88, which is owned by Mossberg. Uh, this gun was probably $150 brand new back in college. and. Uh, I had a friend move away, so I inherited it. It's been in my gun safe, just collecting dust. So I figured what better use than to come down here and try to put a thumping on some squirrels. And you know, celebrate America, celebrate our democracy, celebrate the election. And just with so much on the line this year, home and abroad, I really just can't stay silent. I need to come out and officially endorse the idea of people just shutting up and keeping their opinions to themselves. We live in the greatest country in the world and we're allowed to disagree and never forget that. But right now, we're gonna have some fun. The only way I know how. I got the POV right behind me, we got the GoPro. <laughs> I'm gonna have another one on my head and we're gonna see if we can put a hurting on some squirrels here in about an hour and a half. So folks at home, sit back, relax, and stay tuned. Let's ride.
All right, that's gonna be a wrap for me here in the woods. I can honestly say that's the hardest I've ever had to work to not get a limit of squirrels either. The limit is four, I only shot three. Kind of running out of time here. But this is gonna be plenty of meat for what I'm gonna do now. Uh, like I said, I did the squirrel catch and cook last year. We made Nashville hot squirrel. It actually came out really good. Um, and I think I kind of want to make it a tradition to cook a kind of traditional dish, but in an untraditional way with, with squirrel. Uh, so today we're, uh, we're gonna get these squirrels cleaned out and then we're gonna head back to the kitchen. I'm gonna make squirrel curry. And uh, we're gonna see if this can rival or if it's better than the Nashville hot squirrel from last year. Uh, if you're enjoying what you see here, make sure you hit that like button. And if you aren't already, please consider subscribing to Woods North. And uh, otherwise, let's go ahead and uh, get cooking. Folks at home, welcome back to the restaurant. I said I was gonna film some more cooking bits here, and well, here we are. It's been two days since we had a successful squirrel hunt in the back 40 at the farm down in Charlotte. And uh, don't worry if you are a patron of this restaurant or if you ever wanna come here, those squirrels were skinned and dressed at the farm. They did absolutely no processing of the meat here whatsoever. Um, and just like we did last year for the Nashville hot squirrel video, these are the hindquarters, they're looking pretty good. And uh, I apologize in advance, the entire subcontinent of Southeast Asia uh, for what I'm about to do here, but we're gonna make some squirrel curry. I've never really formally been trained on how to make curry, but um, I made it a few times. I guess it's, you could call it Americanized. I like the way it tastes, um, but we're gonna do this. So uh, to start out, we're just gonna get some jasmine rice. That's a long grain. This is gonna take the longest. Rice is easy, right? So just in a pot with some water, bring it up to a boil, let it simmer, like kind of just set it and forget it. The first thing we're gonna do for the actual curry is uh, we're gonna take these hind quarters. There's six of them here, that's three squirrels and I'm uh, just gonna lightly season them with some salt and pepper and then into a big stock pot here, put an oil in the bottom of the pan, I'm gonna get it a little warm and then we're just gonna brown the squirrel meat. So just like, just a few seconds on each side just to cook the outside and we're actually gonna take those off the heat and we're gonna put them on a, just a regular plate here and let them hang out for a little while. Into the hot oil after that, we're gonna add our aromatic mix, right? And so most aromatic for, you know, Western or kind of American food is gonna be garlic and shallots but ginger is a huge influence in curry as well as you know just a, a multitude of, of cooking styles over like in India and in that part of the world. Um, so we're gonna add that to our aromatic mix. So we have the finely chopped shallot and that's gonna go in uh, with, with plenty of garlic and ginger in the pan. That's gonna go first, we're gonna let that rip. That's gonna get nice and hot. We're gonna let that cook down just a little bit. After that, we're gonna add some more components of the curry, right? So we're gonna add carrots. I'm gonna just add like three regular size organic carrots here after they're skinned and, and chopped up real fine and a half of a julienne uh, yellow onion, and that's gonna go in the pan as well. At this point, I'm gonna add the seasoning too, so we're just gonna use this organic curry powder mix. You can, you, there's, there's probably plenty of old, old world recipes on how to make curry powder using different spices. Once again, I'm so sorry to everybody in India and Thailand watching this, I don't know how to do that. So I just have this store-bought, the pre-mixed curry powder. I'm gonna add this pretty generously into the pot with the aromatic mix as well as the carrots and the onion. I like to just add just a touch of cayenne pepper too. Give, give it just a little bit of heat, uh, at least at this point. And we're gonna cook that down for a little bit, add a little bit more oil, and I did throw just a little bit of butter in here as well, uh, just to allow the vegetables to kind of cook in something and soften up easier. After a while, uh, I'm gonna use this, and some of you Italians, you know what I'm talking about with this stuff, this, this organic tomato paste. We're gonna use that to kind of thicken up and kind of make this into a stew. So I added just a little bit, probably like a tablespoon and a half here in the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna cook that in with the vegetables and the aromatics, everything that's going so far in the pan. Once that starts to kind of gunk up the bottom of the pan, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that just with some chicken stock. Uh, I wish I had some squirrel stock or some other stock that I, I made myself, but I don't, that's fine. Just use a little bit of chicken stock to thin this out. And uh, at this point, once this comes back up to a simmer, I'm gonna add that squirrel back in. We're gonna let it cook, and we're just gonna let it finish in that stew while it's simmering. And that's probably gonna take 10 to 12 minutes. After a while too, uh, I went ahead and I added a finely diced serrano pepper, as well as a couple of just grape tomatoes that I cut in half. And those are gonna finish up in the pan with the squirrel, with the carrots, the onion, all the curry seasoning. Right at the very end, I'm gonna add just a little bit of heavy cream. 
just for color and just to kind of thicken it up and make it a little bit more buttery, kind of like a smoother finish for the stew. Um, and we're just gonna let that simmer for just a few minutes. And then as soon as the rice is done cooking, which it did, it just finished now, right before the, uh, the squirrel is ready to rock, we're gonna take it off the heat and we're ready to plate. All right, if you know me, if you've seen the channel before, you know I'm gonna overdo this as far as the presentation goes. So we're gonna start with the white rice. I used just a smaller soup bowl to try to form the rice into a shape that I'm hoping is gonna hold in this big bowl right here. Uh, and it's looking like it will. So at this point, uh, we're just gonna top it with the curry. I'm gonna use the, some tongs here to grab two pieces of squirrel meat, two of the hind quarters, put those right on top. I'm gonna get a pretty good sized ladle, kind of ladle out the rest of the curry, the stew, right? So that's the tomatoes, the pepper, the onion, and the carrot. We're gonna put it right over the top of the, the, the squirrel, just like this. To garnish, it's really simple. I have a couple of very finely chopped chives, which are just like really tiny scallions, really tiny green onions, and just a wedge of lime. And uh, I think it came out pretty good. Let me know what you think, obviously, if you are from the part of the world or your family descends from the part of the world where this food was invented. A, let me know how I did. B, I'm sorry if I, if I did this wrong or I butchered or screwed this up. I can actually say I'm pretty excited to eat this. Um, so as is routine, let's look at this for a few minutes. And let's chow down. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap on the 2024 Woods North Back 40 Excursion. This was another really fun video to make, and I, like I said in the beginning of the video, I modeled this after a video that I filmed last year, and I used that video. The reason I made that video was because I was having such a slow fall on the water and in the tree stand. But uh, I will say, I, I think I'm gonna make this a regular staple of the channel. So every fall moving forward, just like I go up to Sterling Pond, I have the, that series I call Above the Clouds. I think I'm gonna do a run and gun squirrel hunt catch and cook and, and prepare the squirrel in a way that you've never seen before. I think that's going to be a fun tradition to, to carry on on the channel. Obviously I should have filmed this outro in the kitchen, I forgot to do that. So we're in the truck, I'm actually at the post office right now, which is a weird place to film an outro for an outdoor channel. But I'm fulfilling a couple of online orders that I picked up over the weekend from the shop tab at woodsnorth.com. Uh, I have a whole bunch of hats, I have beanies, stickers, coffee mugs. If you ever feel like you want to pick something up like that, uh, there's a link in the description down below. And for the rest of the, the fall, for the rest of 2024, uh, if you use code FALL24 at cash out, you're going to get all your items shipped for free. Uh, it's a really good way to support the brand. Obviously, pick up yourself some, uh, some cool merch along the way. Squirrel curry, definitely different than Nashville hot squirrel. Both are very good. I'm not going to compare the two against each other. I'm just going to enjoy them both separately but they're absolutely going to be added to my wild game repertoire and uh, they will both be prepared again moving forward. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you do hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I'm going to get out of the truck and get on with the rest of my day. So until next time, people, as always, be good. I'm Larry. This is Woods North, signing off from the post office. See ya.